today, folks. Well, welcome to what we knew as Big Harry's Place. The rest of Australia, well, they knew it as BHP Newcastle Steelworks. I worked there every day for over 25 years. And I tell you, the sights, the sounds, the smells, well, they never leave you. I remember it all. You know why? Look around you. Everything was big about Harry's place. And at its height, we pumped out 2 million tons of steel a year and employed over 11,000 people. Another thing that was big, you heard it, the noise. And you can feel it, the heat, the steam, the dust. Most people spent their first day working here in complete terror. Plenty took one look at ladles like this, turned around and walked out on the spot. <laughs> I couldn't blame them. It was dangerous. When the earthquake hit in 1989, most of us just thought it was a, a problem in the slag pits. But that was the kind of explosions we were used to. Now here, we're about to tap the boss steel furnace. That's boss as in basic oxygen steel making, not the guy in charge. steel was tapped from the furnace into the ladle, it had to be teamed into ingot trays. Now that's what we're going to do now. These ladles weighed 75 tons on their own, and when you're working with hundreds of tons of molten metal, there's a lot that can go wrong. So, when you heard the alarms, you made sure you were out of the way. That's the alarm we Nice, isn't it? <laughs> The point was, we used different music and sounds so people wouldn't get used to the same noise, all right? Now here it comes. And I tell you, the first day I moved one of these, I knew I was taking my life in my hands, you know? about that, but one of the worst things that can happen was a problem with the stopper rod. Now the guys had to act fast to get a running stopper in its place, otherwise, well that would have been you lot, drowning in molten steel. <laughs> okay, now we can team the steel out into the ingots. And the chimney fills from the buckets and the steel flows up through the channels into the four ingot molds. would be taken and rolled in steel, plates for the industry, the railway lines across Australia, the, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. You see, they all started life here as molten steel. For nearly a hundred years we made the steel that built Australia. It's loud, dirty, dangerous. And the heat was something else, but you know what? It was the most exciting job you could wish for. You got a feel for the steel, it was, it was alive. <laughs> a good crane driver could catch the swing of a ladle, a good furnace foreman could tell by the smell and the look if the steel was ready. And from my first day to my last, I was just in awe of this place. And when it closed, I don't know, I was lost. It was 
was the most exciting part of my life. And I still go back there in my sleep, my thoughts, hear the noise, I feel the heat. I remember my mates. Everything was big at Big Harry's place. The furnaces, the ladles, the danger. But you know what? Our lives were big too. And nothing else came close.